It's been really great to have this event today because it serves as a forum for women to get together from Orange County and from beyond. As you can see today, we have women uh, who are also consulate generals from uh, Peru um, and also from Pakistan and uh, a lot of women who have traveled overseas. And I think it's a great time to connect with each other, uh, be a resource for each other and also to learn about leadership. I think the bottom line for women, I think if I were to boil down, is that learn to appreciate yourself as a person, um, you know, and learn to appreciate the leadership style that you have. Uh, that to be authentic, to be yourself, and not try to be a leader with, you know, be masculine in your leadership style. But the bottom line, I think, is to be confident about who you are. Because I think often women, tend to question ourselves um, and I think we need to be able to feel confident about who we are, our abilities and also need to also learn how to reach out to other women around us who can be our mentors, role models and advocates. And then I think it's good to find mentors. I've been lucky to have worked with men and have many men mentors but my life as a leader has changed and I, and I grew very much because of uh, two women leaders. One is an African-American woman who was my president when I was just starting out in my career. And the other one is a white woman who had a very different style, but I learned from all of them. Sure, I think women today are much more um, confident about who they are. They're much more assertive. I think women in the past probably were much more used to be in the shadow uh, of men. And I think now women are, are more aware about their place in society and the power that they have, uh, but also, you know, learning to accept uh, their role in society. Yeah, I think they're just different. I think they're much more aware and much more confident. Here, I think today we have between 280 to 300 participants. And as you can see, it's not only women, there's some men as well. I think there's a long way to go. I mean, I think, as I noted earlier, for me in education, for example, women are only a third uh, in terms of the presidents and, you know, the presidents in colleges and universities. And it's even less so, as you heard earlier, for those in business. And so there's still a glass ceiling, so to speak. We're not yet there. And we didn't talk about it here today, but we also know that there's disparity in terms of pay. You know, we haven't quite gotten to the place where we are paid equally for the work that we do. So we've come a long way, but there's a long way to go. And not only in terms of us here in the United States, our theme today is global. And we know that in other parts of the world, for example, uh, that women are not yet in the same place where we are now, uh, women in the United States or in the Western world. Wow, in the end, the bottom line is we want them to be good citizens. At least that's for me. Um, you know, you can talk about they go to school because they want to get a career, they want to be able to earn money, but in the end, I think that we shouldn't forget that we're citizens of this county, citizens of this United States, and citizens of the world, and that we should try to always think about paying, playing forward, I guess it's what they say, that we should not only think about ourselves, but think about the other people around us.